So yeah, so take a baby, sniff the baby. That's what that's what this one smells like instead of sniffing it from the source of the talcum powder. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Okay, so today's video is about testing out fall perfume. So yeah, these three decans are sent to me by Erin Sullivan Beauty. So if you haven't been subscribed to her, please go check out her channel. So I saw that she's doing this um, like subscription service and I registered for it because I was interested in buying some perfume from her. And if you were subscribed to her, I think it's like $5 per month and it's like $60 per year or oh, $50 per year. And you get three 5 ml decans as well as 50% off of the perfume that she's selling. So it's such a good deal. So yeah, if you haven't support her or subscribe to her channel, please consider checking her out. She is the uh, one-stop shop for all cruelty-free perfume. I'm always curious of this three perfume. Um, the first one is Versailles Blondine. I have a Versailles to send you, which I really, really enjoy. It's a very unique gourmand scent. Smells like a bread, like bakery bread, with nuts and dry fruits. I love it so much. This is very seasonal. Performance is amazing. I know that I don't reach for it a lot because it's such a seasonal scent. Whenever I smell this, it reminds me of Christmas or holidays. I don't reach for it, but I can't seem to declutter it because I absolutely really, really, really enjoy this. Just the performance is so good and it's so unique. And to me, it's just very precious, you know, and I love gourmand. So i have always curious of Versailles Blondine because it's the white floral version of, um, of their line. So this is the first time I am testing this. This is going to be a first impression. So the notes that are listed in Fragranticas are tiger lily, butter, suede, caramel, cacao, tonka bean, pear leaf, ashoka flower, white musk, castorium, salt, and green mandarin. Mm, I like it, but for some reason this one reminds me of like a baby product. For some reason this one reminds me of like a Johnson Johnson baby oil or like baby hair. Very baby product, so if you like that, you're gonna love this. I could smell the lily, I could smell the butter, suede, caramel, cacao, tonka bean. I don't know, so to me the whole thing combined smells very similar to like baby hair product. But this one's not talcum powder though, there's there's no aldehyde in it. So imagine if it's like a maybe baby powder minus the aldehyde. So this is more a subtle version. This one smells as if you're sniffing the baby from the hair itself, not from the product, if you know what I mean. So yeah, so take a baby and then sniff it. Sniff the baby, that's what, that's what this one smells like instead of sniffing it from the source of the talcum powder. Yeah, so no aldehyde, so yeah, very baby powdery. I really enjoy it, but I don't think I want a full bottle. From Frasai, I think I still prefer Tassendu. It's a beautiful gourmand bread with, with, with nuts and um, dried fruits. Yeah, absolutely love it. Okay, so next I am going to try Kerosene Follow. So I have a kerosene... Uh, perfume. This is Unknown Pleasure. Um, this is one of my favorite. Um, this one's a beautiful lemon coconut cookie. There's something sharp in the opening, um, but the dry down is really beautiful. And the sharpness doesn't last more than maybe 10 seconds, so that's why I still enjoy this so much. Yeah, this is a beautiful lemon coconut cookie. I have been wanting to try kerosene 
follow and she has it so I am going to try and see how I like this this is the first impression by the way okay I could smell it already um, so the notes are listed for Grand Ticas are roasted coffee bean, maple sap, vanilla, tonka bean, amber, and benzoin. Okay, so I really like this. This is a beautiful gourmand perfume. I could definitely smell the coffee. Now, the coffee here reminds me of uh, the Indonesian coffee candy, Kopiko. Uh, I'm gonna put a picture right here. So it's very sweet coffee, caramelly. So it reminds me of that coffee candy, but there is a additional incense in it, as if you're combining a burn coffee with Kopiko, the, the coffee candy. Okay, so that's just the opening. It's starting to change actually. Apparently the Copico candy, it's only on the opening with the, a hint of burn smell. And as it's drying down, the burn smell is starting to take over. And the candied coffee kind of mellowed down. So now it has a slight fireplace vibe, like replica by the fireplace type of fire at burn coffee so yeah so now i smell the woodiness i think there might be some sort of chestnut so must be the um, maple sap maybe the amber and benzoin yeah so the amber is what makes me think of replica by the fireplace so this one's starting to become a very ambery incensey burn type of scent reminds me a lot of by the fireplace or even some of the Lunfaline opening, the burn smell. Um, between the two, I think I still prefer Kerosene Unknown Pleasure. I love this. This is a lemon coconut cookie. I do enjoy Follow as well, but I think I'll be enough with the 5ml decan. I don't think I will need a full bottle to be honest, just because I don't think I'll be using it a lot. Number three. This is the last one. I'm super excited about this. I've always wanted this perfume. Um, this is from Pana London. It's called Pink Champagne Truffle. The notes are listed for Grantica. This is very exciting, guys. It's dark chocolate, raspberry, brandy, and rose. So from looking at the notes of all three, I actually really, really wanted to buy a full bottle. And I'm so glad that I get to try this out from Erin Sullivan Beauty. Erin, thank you so much subscribing to you and becoming part of your celebrity member is one of the best decisions I made this year because I get to try all of this cool perfume and I get to buy a lot of your declutter perfume okay okay this one's good it smells like a realistic brandy dark chocolate but to me this one smells a lot like brandy so think of it like a brandy filled dark chocolate how it tastes like is what this smells like to me yeah so think of it like a dark chocolate filled with brandy a lot of brandy and there is a hint of raspberry and a tad bit of rose so the rose just you know becomes part of the background to be honest you can't really smell it so out of the three out of the three my favorite of course because i love gourmand pink champagne truffle the next one would be Versailles blondine i love it it's actually really nice now so as it's drying down there's less of a baby product scent it's becoming more like a buttery suede lily now it smells like a lily flower with suede and butter but minus the sweetness so this is not a sweet flowery scent beautiful beautiful last but not least kerosene follow i love it so these three are really really good by the way 
It's just that this one has a strong by the fireplace association to my nose burn coffee smell so think of it as by, by the fireplace and burn coffee smell there's a beautiful copico candy and burn coffee smell in the opening but dry down is by the fireplace replica with burn coffee smell guys checking in this is hour four since i filmed we're already reaching the deep dry down of this perfume so i'm gonna start with blondine so blondine now the baby powder scent or the baby product scent already gone away so what's left is this beautiful like lily and suede and butter but overall the way it smells to me it's, it smells like as if the baby powder but minus the baby powder scent so in a way now it's starting to remind me of Alaya Blanche like those kind of scent it smells like the texture of baby powder but without much scent in it so yeah it reminds me of Alaya Blanche if you smell that before okay so next this is at hour four kerosene follow so at this stage i absolutely love it now it becomes a very ambery vanilla scent and with coffee so ambery vanilla scent with coffee this one starting to remind me of cafe cabanel that i own so i absolutely love it um so it's interesting that at the beginning it smells like a candied coffee copico with a little bit of a burn coffee smell and then as it goes in the middle it's, i'm starting to smell like replica by the fireplace with a little bit of a coffee burn smell and the deep dry down smells like frappuccino like ambery vanilla like ambery vanilla with a hint of coffee and now the coffee it's no longer burned the coffee here smells like candied coffee a little bit i think because the amber vanilla and coffee makes it more like an embery candied coffee um, i don't smell the burn anymore so i absolutely love it at this phase it actually reminds me a little bit of cafe cabanel like i said okay so this is our four Pana London Pink Truffle. I absolutely love this one. At this stage, I can actually smell the syntheticness similar to dark chocolate covered raspberry brandy. That's what it smells like. But the raspberry brandy here, it's very artificial, just like the dark chocolate raspberry brandy. You know, the raspberry brandy inside is a little bit artificial sweetness but nonetheless it's beautiful yeah i actually love it i love all three of them kerosene follow is starting to grow on me at this phase actually my favorite is kerosene follow but i already have cafe cabanel um i love the Pana London pink truffle so that is definitely goes straight to my wish list and blondine it's beautiful think of it like alaya blanche but better yeah so i don't know about this one this one i'm addicted to it i'm kind of like sniffing it a lot but i know if i buy this i probably won't wear it as much you know anyway thank you so much for watching and thank you so much aaron for giving me the opportunity to smell this perfume thank you Bye bye